Welcome back. All right, today we are going to do something new on this channel. Well, what is it you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Every Tuesday, I'm going to upload quick tip videos that will just go over bite-sized chunks of, you know, best practices of things that I've learned that I picked up on, whether that's in Premiere, After Effects, Illustrator, even 3D, doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, quick tips are going to be pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Now, you might be familiar with the old gradient tool and you, you, you might like it, but if I click on a shape, let's just dive into it. Click on a shape, click on the gradient, or you can go up, window, gradient, and I'll add this little fella. You can hit G. You can get gradient multiple ways, but here's my gradient. You might be familiar with the click, drag, maybe make some adjustments, maybe, you know, make it longer, make it shorter. It's, it's a beautiful way to make gradients, but today we're gonna use a new feature. We're gonna use the freedom gradient because we're all about freedom. And I'm gonna click on points, make sure that's clicked on, and you'll notice it's gonna add a bunch of points for me. Now I can click and drag these anywhere I want and the gradient will adjust. If I don't want this white, well, click on it, drag it off the shape and boom, pretty, pretty awesome. Now there's a few options with this. You can click on a point and you can drag it, which will actually adjust the spread and that will reflect here. You can also change the opacity of every single point. So there is a lot of options for you to play with. Now my favorite, woo, favorite new feature is an easy, easy, easy way to select color. Wow, double click, you're done. The old way, such a hassle. New way, double click pick a color and I'm done. Pretty, pretty simple. Now, you literally just click on these guys and drag them anywhere. The other great part is lines. Now imagine with me for a moment that the pen tool and the gradient tool had some weird pseudo baby. That's exactly what you're gonna get. So you click on lines, make a dot, make another dot. Now, if I go to the left, you'll start to see the curve. That is awesome. Let's just go back a couple steps here. You can also click and then you can't really see it, but I'm starting to move my cursor to the right with it clicked in, let go, and now the shape will adjust. If I click now, I'm gonna go down to the left. You can see the line will adjust. Now, what's really cool, let me just go back to points. If I click on any of these points, I can move them anywhere I want to go. I can double click them, change the color. One of the greatest things about this, these color options is this eyedropper. You can click it here or double click here and use the eyedropper to click anywhere. Oh, it's making it so much easier to create professional looking gradients with ease. Anyways, this is just a quick demonstration. If you want it to look amazing, that's definitely on you. So. Go ahead and play with this feature because it makes working with gradients so much easier. And yes, it is easy to get carried away, but hey, have fun with it. So that is the quick tip on making awesome gradients is with the new freeform gradient tool utilizing points and lines. All right, well, that is it for this quick tip. Comment below uh, if you learned something or if you have an idea for another quick tip. And then if you liked the video, go ahead and click on that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, go ahead and subscribe and we'll keep this channel rolling. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.